Hi friend, welcome back to my channel for content creators and entrepreneurs. I am Shauna Yurko and today I am sharing an Instagram Reels transition tutorial with you. So the other day I was filming a reel at my desk and as I was recording these sweet transitions, I got this idea, I was like, hey, my audience might wanna see how I shoot easy transitions that look seamless without any crazy editing outside of the app. So I started recording this tutorial shortly after I filmed the very first clip that you see here. So it is missing this first clip here, but you'll still learn exactly how to shoot and edit this kind of transition inside the Instagram app. You're actually going to learn how to shoot five different transitions, all using the same method. We will be using the align feature in Instagram, the align button right here. And you're going to learn how to match your actions perfectly so your transitions look seamless. Let's get into it. Okay, so we are going to hop upstairs to my desk office area here in just a sec, and I am going to take you through these transitions as I film them. But first, I wanna give you the lowdown. I wanna show you a step-by-step -step for exactly how to achieve a perfect and seamless transition. Let's say we want to do a hand wipe like this. You are going to see the process of me filming it here in just a sec, but let me just take you through step-by-step -step first. So you record your first clip inside the Instagram Reels camera. Then you go in and trim the clip. To do this, you tap the little back arrow here and select the clip that you want to edit. To trim, tap the scissors icon and use the little slider to trim your clip as you see fit. In order for your transition to look as smooth as possible, trim the end of the clip right where you want your transition to happen. When you like what you have, click trim at the top right corner, then click done. Next, you're going to hit the align button and it will show you the very last frame of the clip that you just shot and you position your body to line up with that last frame. This will ensure that the transition all looks like one seamless motion. You'll need to use the timer feature so you can press the record button and you have a few seconds to find your mark and match up with the last frame. And when it starts recording, you hold for a moment and then you finish the movement. Then you wanna go in and trim your second clip the same way we trimmed the first one, but this time trim any sort of pause at the beginning. That way, the very first frame starts the motion. If you wanna check your work, you can always click the white arrow here and it will show you the full transition cut together. So let's see how this looks in action. I am showing you five easy to film transitions. Woo, up to the desk. What's up, I'm Shauna, and today I'm going to show you an easy Instagram Reels tutorial on how to shoot super cool transitions inside the Instagram app with no editing necessary, so. You're in for a treat, let's dive in. Our goal today is to achieve these really cool transitions that you see in a really seamless way. So let me show you how to do it. I have my phone mounted right here on the window using natural light and I'm gonna start my screen recording here now just so that you can see what's going on. Boom. So you can see on the screen here, I already recorded my very first little scene here and I have gone in and trimmed it to end right at my clap. That's the first transition that we are covering today. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this done down here after trimming. And now you can see me and check out this little icon here that says align. This brings up the last frame of the video that you just shot. So now you can shoot a really seamless transition within the app and you can just match exactly like where you were. So I like to try and line up my eyes, like this, the size my eyes were, and then the size my hands were. So I found it, but in order to have some time to get to that position, you need to go in and set your timer settings. I'm going to count down 10 seconds because as you can see, it just took me a little bit longer to get in that position. A couple of the other ones that we're doing today will be a little bit easier for me to line my body up, but because this one's gonna take a little bit of time, I'm setting my timer here for 10 seconds. And I am not going to shorten this here. I'm gonna leave it all the way um, extended just so that I can shoot however long I need to. And we'll trim it up here in just a sec. So let me show you what I mean. Click set timer. It's going to count us down to 10 when I push the Reels record button here. You ready? We're gonna try this. Nah, here we go, I'm nervous. All right, line up my eyes. A little bit closer. Now my hands. 
I have my little shot list here. <laughs> Let me pull it up. So I went from a clap to a dance move. We're gonna match this action with the dance move here and see if it's any easier. But first, before we move on and change outfits and go to the next little like scene where we're matching action, I need to go in and trim my last clip. So you can see this is my first clip. I come in, I'm going to be gesturing to the title and then I clap. Then we need to make that clap look shorter on this next clip. So I'm gonna click trim and I'm gonna go right to here where my eyes are open and my hands are closed. Hmm. The last frame where my eyes are open, there we go. And now I'm going to be dancing all the things and that is where I want to trim it. Right here where I'm kind of paused and it'll be easy to match exactly what that pose is. So let's go ahead and trim it up. And if you, ever want to see how these things like look together, you can click the done button and then click this arrow here and you'll see them cut together. So there's this one, clap, boom. Easy, seamless transition. And now it ends there. So we will have to reset our timer and then we will push the align button. Now I'm gonna go real quick, change my clothes and then I'll be right back. All right, so we're ready to shoot this next little scene. And I'm gonna go from this little dance move here to cover up the lens. So the timer is set to 10 seconds and the align button is now hit. I'm gonna go ahead and like see where I kind of need to be. Kind of need to be like, my face needs to be here. And then, oh, I'm like doing this. All right, cool. So I kind of have it, ready? <gasps> 10 seconds. Lined up my hand. <gasps> Boom. Done. Let's see if that lined up. Might not have. Okay, so I need to trim it and get that part where I'm like standing there still. All right, I'm gonna cut, trim this a little bit. And then we're gonna go push this done button to see how it looks cut together. I mean, it's okay. I don't love it. Mm, no, we're gonna make it shorter. We're gonna trim this dancing to end after this second uh, thumb point. So it goes boom, boom, and I see what my motion is. All right, cool. I'm going to now delete this because it no longer matches. Ready? Click done. We're gonna set timer. Click align. I need to kind of figure out like where I need to be. Gotta line my hand up. Hand is like here. Where's my face? Back here. All right, we'll see if we can do this. Hand. <laughs> Let's see if that worked. I don't think it's gonna be as seamless. I should have just kept the first one. Okay. Let's see what it looks like. All right, let's trim it. Gotta start this right when it starts moving. All right, and then trim it right when I cover up the lens. Now let's see, did it work? We're on an adventure, friends. Oh, it kinda worked. Dancing, oh, it wasn't that good. Just to be safe, I'm saving it, but I wanna retry it. 
Hey, pro tip here, always save your reels before you post them. Instagram glitches out quite a bit when it comes to reels. This happens with my reels, it happens to some of my students' reels. So you always wanna save your edits before you post them, just in case something goes wrong, if the text gets smushed or something is weird with the audio. So that is a pro tip that I always like to offer. Save that as like a fallback in case your reel glitches out somehow. All right, back to the desk. Okay. It has saved that version, just in case I want to go back to it. So let's go ahead and delete you so that the align button will work with that last frame. Set our timer for 10 seconds, align. <laughs> the dorkiest dancing I've ever done in my life. Okay, let's trim this up and see if it worked. Trim. All right. Let's see. Moment of truth. This transition is flawless. Second transition goes into the dance. Oh, snap, it was pretty good. All right, now we covered up the lens. Let's move on. I don't want to share yet. Let's change our clothes, changed. All right, so this next one, we don't necessarily need to set the timer and do the align because we literally just covered up the lens. So I'm just gonna start with lens covered up. Then turn you off, cancel timer, cover the lens. Okay, let's go ahead and trim that. Oh, I keep pushing that button. Yeah, we wanna trim off some of that front space where, there we go. I think I'll do it right about here. Yep, cause that'll switch me right in the middle of that transition. Boom. We're gonna trim, change clothes. <laughs> All right, cool. We have trimmed this piece and we know that it's stopping like right about here in the transition. So what we're gonna do, click done, cause we're done trimming it. We're going back to our timer situation, clicking a line and seeing where everything is. So this one's a little bit blurrier because my stupid hand is, I wonder, it looks like it's like right my body is right here, I'm doing this. Let's see if we can make this happen. Matching my hand, my shoulder, and it looks like it's right here. <sighs> Going in here. So let's see if we can trim you. There, where it's a little bit blurry. So there may be some instances where you wanna leave these untrimmed before you shoot the next one. So I'm gonna leave a little bit of length at the end of this clip so that I can match it when I shoot the next one because I'm gonna be spinning and it's a little bit harder to match where I'm at facing away from the camera, right? So let's go ahead and check out how this transition looks. Here it comes. Totally worked. All right, so let's go ahead and go back. It looks like we are running out of time. You can see on the very top, like right here. We're running out of time in the reel. And so we aren't gonna be able to do as many transitions as I thought, so I could break this up into a couple of reels. Let's see what the last thing was that we did. We just spun, right? Yes, we spun, we spun, we spun, and we left a little bit of a tail, right? Okay, so I spin all the way around. I'm going to end up cutting that very end part, but I'm leaving it on here to give myself some wiggle room with the editing. But one thing I do need to check for is where I was in the screen. So I'm going to watch this 
and see I was about like right here on the screen. Let's go back. We'll align. So my goal is to end my spin here-ish. All right. And it looked like I turned. Which way did I turn? Away. I turned this way. I turned toward the desk. Okay. <laughs> Would have done it the wrong way. So set our timer. We have a 10 second countdown. Will we make it? All right. 10. So I want to end up right here. Ah, here we go. Now we need to go in and trim those last two clips to make them match. So let's go in and take a look. So obviously we'll cut off that front part, but first we need to see where we want this to end. Let's see what this spin looked like. So if we were to trim this like, oops, no. If we were to trim this like right here where I'm looking away. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah. Trim. And then we'll trim this one where I'm in the same position. So I'm like facing away from the camera. Let's see. Okay. Moment of truth. We look at all of the different things. We clapped. And then we did our dance. Mm -hmm. Stupid. And then the cover up. Perfection. And now the swipe. Perfect. And then I didn't remember what I was supposed to do, so then I spun. Oh my gosh, it worked amazing. <laughs> Dude. All right, so we have some easy reels transitions, and you know exactly how to um, accomplish them using that align button. The align button right here. The best thing ever about trying to match your action perfectly, it's really hard to do if you don't have something to line it up with. And it can tend to look more like a jump cut versus an actual seamless transition that you see all these people doing perfectly on TikTok, on Instagram. So if you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more content like this if you wanna learn how to make videos, grow on social media, grow your business with your social media. That is what we talk about here. Or if you just want more Instagram Reels tips, I got you. Also, leave me a comment what you want to see next, what you would like to learn, whether it's about Instagram Reels or something else. I may have to do another transition video just like this one. So keep an eye out for that. Hit that subscribe button and the bell. Woo!